I um, decided to do a bit of a vlog. We are currently 30 weeks out from uh, my competition in 2021. That's if everything kind of goes to plan. Obviously with all this COVID stuff going on, uh, those things can change. So we're aiming for to do a competition in August. Um, whether we go with the BMBF or the UK DFBA is yet to be decided. And there's also some smaller independent shows that we might uh, drop into just to get some more stage time. Because one thing I really, really lacked uh, last year, which was my rookie season, was um, presence on the stage. So getting my posing right, just getting more comfortable being up there and kind of like showcasing. So today is a push day. Um, we'll run through all the exercises kind of in my current split. I've been running this split since August. I think end of August I signed up with Jake so September October November so 12 weeks and um, we might be changing it soon we might not still making improvements it's a rep range that I've kind of never worked in before majority of the reps between are between 12 and 20 which is obviously that major hypertrophy range so I think because it's a completely novel stimulus my body's really really adapted well to it I've tried quite a few different training modalities before and I will run into some of those other modalities that I have tried before in other videos so hope you guys enjoy this and uh, enjoy the next 30 weeks of following this journey <laughs> So here we are performing the flat dumbbell chest press. This is probably one of my favorite chest exercises because what you'll see in all the pros is that they all press very, very well. Simple movement, really, really good engagement on the uh, pectoral muscles. And it's been a staple of my program for a long, long time. We're sticking in a rep range of between 12 to 20 reps. So this is at the kind of the top end of the hypertrophy range and we only do two sets. So when I used to work between 10 and 12, I'd do three sets of 12, which again is going to be somewhere around the 40 reps in total mark. Whereas now we only do two sets, so we do more volume just in two sets. We've now switched into the incline Swiss bar bench press. I use this as it allows me to kind of feel it much, much more across the pecs again, even in the incline position because of the position of my elbows. We then moved into a pec fly on my cable machine. So it's less about the weight on this exercise, more about the squeeze, the mind muscle connection with the pectoral muscles and making sure you're feeling every single inch of that, the tension is consistent on the pecs and it never comes off. So we're going for roughly 20 reps again here. The burn and the pump on this after just doing two big compound exercises is ridiculous. On all these exercises, we're really, really watching the tempo, making sure we get a nice long eccentric phase and a slow controlled concentric phase. We're then moving on to lateral raises because I don't have access to a decent set of cables. We're just having to go heavy on the dumbbell lateral raises. And then we use that little mini band, the red band on the left hand side, do some partial reps at the end, take the lateral heads of the deltoids through to full failure. On all these exercises, we're trying to concentrate on perfect execution. So rep number one and rep number 20 should look pretty much the same. Tricep extensions, trying to keep locked in position. Those elbows really, really tucked in at the sides. A big squeeze and pull apart at the end. And then nice and slow, controlled in the eccentric. Finally, we have tricep dips, probably one of the best mass building exercises for the triceps. 
Again, concentrating on that nice, slow, eccentric, controlled all the way, and then pumping up and through. push session for the week so as i said we are about five weeks away from starting prep so that's why i have jumped on to here for you guys to be able to follow my progress utilizing it's probably going to be the majority of my trainings now between now and um the competitions probably going to be doing the home gym with us being in successive lockdowns etc over 2020 now into 2021 um just my gut feeling is the gyms probably aren't going to be back open again until march april time at a minimum um which is obviously going to put me in a great position because i've got quite a well equipped home gym um, to be able to continue to train as I normally do with progressive overload like I train I'd like to train with like heavy loads working with Jake We've gone to a different rep range for the first time ever So we're mostly working between 12 and 20 reps, which is a lot more volume But I only do down two working sets So the total amount of sets if you did say three sets of 12 You're gonna be doing 36 reps whereas I'll do two sets of 20 at 40 reps um, so the total amount of reps that I'm doing is similar, but I'm doing them in two sets now rather than three. Um, and then uh, as we've kind of progressed through, we've had have added back in some of that like heavier work with the exercises where my technique is pretty good. Um, there is some like eight to 15 work in there. We're not going anywhere lower than eight or reps at the moment, which I'm fine with. That's kind of like, it seems to be where my body is responding best in terms of growth. I've noticed a massive amount of growth um, between August and now. And I think that's all come from like dialing in my diet and then getting much more consistent and much more dialed in with my training. So over the next uh, couple of weeks, I will uh, video uh, my other training sessions. Uh, my training program may change in the next few weeks. I'm not sure what happens as we kind of transition into prep. Um, just before I do go into prep, what I will do as well is a, like a full day of eating. Currently I'm on 3,300 calories a day um from majority like pretty clean foods i eat very very similar things every day i know one thing that's really popular on youtube at the moment is uh like a full day of eating so i will video slash take photos of like everything that i eat in a day to kind of get that 3300 to 3500 calories in um and yeah as always guys i uh, love for you to hit that subscribe button and um, if you like the video click the thumbs up and uh, I, any comments, just drop them below. I always answer back, always answer back to any comments that come through. So, peace.